Hello all and welcome to Paper and Moose. It is early here. It is about 4.30 a.m. I've already had my morning tea. I'm venturing off to Western Pennsylvania to do a house pick. I'm going to have first dibs on a house that has accumulated stuff for over 40 years. And the interesting part of the home is that on the first floor, there used to be a general store. What kind of general store? I have no idea, but the house is old. The contents inside have, has not been touched for years. I'm super excited. So join me for a house pick. Let's get on the road and see what we can find. This is it. Actually, yes. Oh, it is yeah. falling down. Oh. oh, that picture didn't show that. No, well, you know what? It was taken a year ago. <laughs> I guess I can't go in there. <laughs> I guess you're, yeah, I know. That's what, that's what John said. Should I back in, I guess? Oh, whatever's going to be easiest. I guess I'll back in. Oh, what a shame. It is a shame. The go front slope. Oh, you know? yeah, we can I'll go on that part. In. I know. I'm over. Yeah, we're going to peek I'll in. Peek in. Yeah. You, know, you, you, you feel funny having people look at your stuff, though. <laughs> no. I know you're planning on yeah. I know you're planning on trying to move and do stuff, right? So you sell the house. Yeah, and, yeah place, and, a lot of it's gone down because the yeah. past four years. Like this already. Yeah. Because to me, it looks like when you look at the outside, it almost looks like there was three different things. It was like the store was there originally, mm -hmm. and then they added in like a residence. And then it looks like they added on the porch side of it too, like to make the residence well, nicer and yeah, bigger. Yeah, the, the middle part here was the original. Oh, uh, so the building was here. Find the mess. You love messes, right? Yeah. <laughs> this was built in 1837. Yeah, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. so we, can't, we can't go any lower. No. <laughs> no, if you ain't gonna fall for any lower. The only thing I worry about is things tilting over. And oh yeah, look at yeah, that. Yeah. And I think the reason that's not coming over is all the stuff in front, in front of, it. of it. Yeah, yeah, so we can't buy any of that stuff. <laughs> yeah, because it all... You take what's in it. You can a whole bunch of it. Uh, and there's, I can't get any and it's a shame because I remember yeah, yeah. I was 10 when I came up there when we moved up and got the place and I remember what the place looks like. Oh, it is pretty, yeah. It makes it so weird. what did they use to sell here? Basically everything? Oh, my uh, hoagies. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, cool. This yeah, I mean, all kinds of groceries. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A general store. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, that's the one that goes into the other, yeah, like you yeah. said, yeah, yeah, yes. Oh, look at that uh, pinball. Oh, there you go, holy oh, wow. moly, yeah. I didn't cool. see that. We wanted to try oh, that's to get really cool, yeah. those. Look at that oh, yeah. door. Yeah, I, don't, I have no I idea. Those video games. Oh, there's another game. There's another one oh, over okay. there. Oh, yeah, yeah, cool. That was the one I used cool. to play all the time. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I haven't gotten into it. Are you okay going into it? Yeah. Okay. It's just dirty. Oh, it goes down. It's just dirty. Oh, it looks like every other part of the house. But it's like an attic. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. These used to be bedrooms. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. This oh. is what's happening. Oh, is that a ceramic oh, Christmas tree? What happened? I'm going to follow us on a ceramic Christmas tree. Do 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 do. Records. And they used to be right is where he's room? standing. The wait, there wait, used no, to be no, stairs no. coming up. There's probably a window. Oh, that that was the old doorway going into the stereo. attic over there. Oh, okay. Yeah, but oh, that's above. There used above to be the stairs store. right there to go okay. down, and my dad I closed see. them off and yes. re reconstructed things. Right. Yep. And this chair here. Yeah. Stories that it used to belong <laughs> to Thomas uh, Edison. Really? But, yes. It was Good given Lord. to my husband by his by a relative of his, wow. who said. It was Thomas Edison. That's now, who how says this lady isn't a good salesperson? <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I can't even make up stories that good. <laughs> I'm probably looking, I probably look all sweaty and like horrendous, but I'm up in one of the upstairs. There's no lights. Um, whole bunch of stuff. I was interested in because we have some. 80s kind of clothes. I already picked out the Barbie doll and the stickers. So, oh, there's a Hershey Kiss sweatshirt. It's just a matter of looking in here. I'm not going to be able to do it with. Well, maybe I can. <laughs> Life for dinosaurs. 
This is awesome. I'm going to be wearing that. That's so cool looking. Clarion Hill. I have plane. Look at this. This is cool. Hershey Kiss. That's awesome. Whoops. That's pretty cool. I think there's going to be a lot of good stuff in here. Just found these. Oh, jeez. It doesn't fall. Oh, my gosh. Folders. These are all old hats. Sing Sing Superstars. Look at this one. That mine's longer. Red X is a dingy place. Can't believe it's not butter. Alright, we're gonna get all these. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm dibs on the bird. <laughs> oh, here are cassette. Oh, they're just blank. What are these bags? Kennel Club. I mean, you have to dig back there. Like, what? There's lots of runs a bit. But not as much as it left. Can maybe get the other side? Maybe. I've got an old house. My house was probably built. Late 1800s, or you know, I, I've gone back. I've dated my house, I think, back to 1913 so far. Oh my gosh, there's an old telephone. Oh, that's so neat. <laughs> that's awesome. This is one of the rooms. Lots of stuff to look through, as you can see. And there's a coyote. Or a coyote. Rescue set? That's neat. I might grab that. Luckily, uh, we told me more in there other than pennies. No, if you want to keep, did you want to keep the bank though? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. I mean, I thought, uh, I thought it was interesting. Right. It's cute. Yeah. Let's see, how does this work? Um, you know what I'd do with it? I'd be so desperate for money, I'd try to find somebody to get it. Took that box of the oh, cigarettes, okay. right? Oh, I'm sorry. What'd you say, Renee? You took the box of the cigarettes, right? Yes. Box of cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I'm starting to smoke. <laughs> so, yeah, I can't beat him. You used to, can't you? Years ago, yeah. I quit when I was 20 something. Oh, wow. I told him my dad quit smoking when they were 50 cents a pack. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine yeah, I now? Did too. He, yeah, really? I did too. Yeah. I remember 33 cents a pack. Wow. And then when it finally went up to half a dollar, I was smoking like 
to get up in the morning and have a cigarette. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> what am I doing? That's what my doctor said. There's no way that I'm having half a dollar to have a cigarette. That's ridiculous. I told people, they know people say it's a band, but I says I probably don't point to them in the ball. Yeah. Well, you know, but you know, he usually enjoys it too, we're yeah. getting jumping anymore. But, yeah. um, and I didn't even bring mine over, so he is like, <laughs> but uh, I remember when we got, when we were over the store at the Marlboro, it was this pack $1.65. Oh my goodness. I was a pack of Marlboro. I told him today, pack of Marlboro up here is about seven pounds. You go to New York, you're paying maybe 12, 13 bucks a pound. Yes. And he told me, and I said, yes, I know. When I went to North Carolina, probably four or five years ago, to visit. It's a bunch of three money. something. Just under four bucks a pack. I'm like, give me four or five packs of those. Yeah. <laughs> what was the carton? What did a carton used to be? Well, back in 85, a carton of Marlboro was like uh, 15 bucks. 15, 15 bucks. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. So... In the general store, they used to have uh, VHS tapes. They would rent them. Labyrinth, that was a good one. So some of these are still sealed. Robocop, Willow, Edward Scissorhands, Willy Wonka. Yeah. Okay. Are we are we ready? Are you I'm just taking a look at some of the videotapes. Window walker. Go human not ape. What? What do you mean? It goes all the way to the floor. Oh yeah. <laughs> Creature from Black Lake. That looks cool. Do you need help? So this is actually or was actually a church. And they weren't able to get things out and save it in time. You can see some that room. There's a cupola. will be a part two and possibly a part three so don't you worry our first trip out there was basically just to get a lay of the land see what was there because we were going in there blind all we knew was that there was a family that had this home that was attached to a general store that they used to operate and they are moving eventually and need to get rid of everything in the house and the general store and we were pleasantly surprised by a lot of the items that we found so again we got a lay of the land took a brief look dug a little bit and then we are going back or we went back for more for a second trip so stay tuned for that video at some point but really interesting the building was so neat Unfortunately, there was a lot of repairs. Ceilings were falling down. We had to be very careful of some of the floorboards because you could fall through. Um, you know, that, that's what happens. You have years and years of accumulation. It sits and it sits and time takes its toll. But we were able to save quite a bit of neat, interesting things from the home. I'm not gonna show you everything, just some of the items that I really enjoyed and then you will see more in the second video. So of course, let's get to the attic. There were some 80s, 90s things up there. I went straight for the shirts and I found some really neat 1980s sweatshirts, which I can fit, I will wear, not for sale. <laughs> so we have this one, no idea. It's by Tangiers. 
very funky. Fun for everyone. It has some dinosaurs on it. Flowers, just odd, odd. You know, this is probably a cool style back in the day, but I'll have to bring it back. This one I loved. Hershey Kiss sweatshirt. Love and Kisses from Hershey Kisses. And it's actually um, from the Hershey Foods Corporation in 1987. So this is a great piece. I've washed them. Looks like I'm going to have to wash it again. They're, there's a stain that I missed. My favorite. This one. Love it. Samurai. I wish I had that Jeep kind of thing. I can go trash picking in that. Then I can wear the sweatshirt. But this is a favorite of mine. The colors are great. Great 80s look to it. Uh, 1983. I think I've worn this in a video previously. But really cool. I wish they would have had some sweat uh, t-shirts. But they didn't. But hey. Great sweatshirts. Then I picked up some things from the general store. We have a lot more digging to do in there. We just pretty much skim the surface. We have to really go down, move boxes, move boards, move things out of the way. There were some great pinball machines and also some other arcade games. So those we have to check out, see if they can be saved and we probably have a buyer for those already. Cue the person doing lawn work. A drum, not a drum. Oh my gosh, if I had a neighbor that had drums, wouldn't <laughs> that be awful? <laughs> anyway, so I found these uh, All American Flints. So they would have had this up in the store for people to purchase. These were 25 cents plus tax. Not bad. This, I still have to clean it. Custom Cuts Personalized Pocket Knives. It looks like they were $5. So the knives would have went in here. Neat piece, someone could repurpose this many ways. Maybe they have their own pocket knives they could put back in, but again, something that they had in the general store. Through the years, the family had sold off some of the larger pieces and signage from the store. I was kind of hoping that when we walked in, it would have you know all these signs up, but it didn't because you know, for the past 10, 15 years, they have slowly been selling some of the I guess more collectible items or some of the pieces that they could easily get to but there are still more treasures to be found I also found these these are patches so we're gonna call them new old stock patches we have the American flag and this one is birds there's cardinals um, cardinals mallards these little chicks uh, finches I'm not sure then I also have patches that were ant that are animals so again, something that they would have sold in the general store, along with some of the hats that you, you've seen, you saw in the video. Those, I think I've sold all those at the flea market already. So I will keep a cardinal for myself. I haven't seen a real cardinal in a long time, but I always love it when I do. Then the woman, the, the lady of the home, she also loved going to thrift stores and she would buy a lot and then just put it away. So some of the items were newer in some sections of the home. Some of them were older. I found one box where I found a set of the um, Santa mugs. It actually has a large pitcher. So I took that, Japan, so they are older. Some of the condition is better than others. Um, I haven't looked the setup online. I would probably prefer to sell it more so at the flea market versus packing it up because I wouldn't want them to, you know, break in transit if I don't keep them. I don't know. I have to see. I do like them. And then we have the Winky Santa and it's actually double-sided Winky Santa. Uh, what is this? Man Creations Japan. So we have this guy too. And then I just threw him in for fun. Kind of reminds me of little Yellowstone tchotchke that someone would have picked up. It's not marked Yellowstone, but it reminds me of something that would have been available in a National Park souvenir shop. Made in Japan, J81 on the bottom. I picked up some VHS tapes. The general store rented VHS tapes. 
So they had boxes and boxes. I tried to take more of those in the sci-fi horror genre because as I've stated in a previous video, those are collected. People love the cover art and so I tried to find those. I took a few videos for myself, including The Return to Oz. It is available on the Disney Plus if you have that, so you can watch it on there if you have not seen it. But man, VHS tapes, can't beat them. I found a few posters, but they weren't you know, anything crazy. There's one for E.T. Oh, and one for Beetlejuice, which I'm going to add to my collection. I don't think I will frame it because that is large, but I'll probably keep it. Maybe I can figure out a way to use it for Halloween decor. But that would have been really neat to come across just boxes of the posters for the videos. That would have been a great find. But still, really fun to go through. The church across the street, um, that you can't get into it. Though, we may be trying to. <laughs> um, you know, through time again, through time and not being, you know, um, no upkeep with any problems in the, in the roofs, it just kind of unfortunately but there are some cute cats around there so yeah we will be going back so stay tuned for that video see what other treasures we can find see what other digging needs to be done and perhaps trying even to get into that church we shall have to wait and see so thank you for joining me on this venture adventure it definitely was an adventure stay tuned for part two and see what other adventures we find at this uh, estate clean out pick general store general store house pick of a lifetime <laughs> thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this if you did you can click on that little thumbs up button and um, subscribe if you have not this way you will be up to date when I put out the next video part two so thanks for watching hope you have a great day I will see you all in the next episode